Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. As you can see I'm getting covered with artifacts. Um, the scarf is around my neck that is for... Um, it's actually luck so it basically gives you an extra layer of looting and the hat gives you an extra layer of fortune. So when we're mining stuff up we should get better results. So today I would like to do some upgrades of the stuff we've got so let's get started. So here we got, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with this. So we managed to get a cursed droplet. I got a cursed droplet. You get a cursed droplet from wither skeletons. So you have to grind a few wither skeletons with a kibbe, and then we should get this cursed kibbe. Um, cursed kibbies are quite handy for. I'm not sure actually. You get a 61 chance of dying, so it's probably not the best thing to eat. <laughs> What's it give you for food? Not it actually gives you quite a lot of uh, saturation, but it may be useful. This one here is for cursed a cursed dirt seed like this so, so we this is also a quest and it's a, a quite a good one to do you can basically basic for mock stuff which we may get into later on and this one here is for the diamond kibbe and not yet another one and i have no I, oh 16 16 saturation and we get eight of these for five diamonds a bit expensive but it's a quest so we want to get rid of it anyway so the rest of this here is prepared for the diamond upgrade to the jetpack. So let's quickly get this done because that's also something that we'd like, like to do. So we'll put down here, we need um, 11 of these elite coils uh, for iron jetpacks. As usual, it's always 11. Um, and here we'd put the elite coils, or half of these elite coils, into here like this. And that'll make these diamond energy cells which we also need five of those and then from there we can start to actually put the stuff together this one here is the where we use three of these in fact let's just put down two into here two like that i've got four diamonds right now i'm not sure why i think i've probably got too many diamonds in use in this particular one and then we go around like this and that will produce two thrusters i'm going to move count to my diamonds which is good I've actually got plenty of diamonds at the moment. So this one is the next one we have to put these three energy cells down the middle to produce the, the capacitor, the diamond capacitor. And that's basically it. And then we should be able to, it says jet boots, but that in fact is the recipe. So if we look at the uses of this, try again, we should be able to simply click with the, into the place and doesn't put in the stuff that we need, which is the jet pack. So now we get a diamond jet pack, which has got 30 million X stuff required so I'm going to put these away and that these diamonds quickly away over here and we'll get on them we'll actually do the next one straight away I'm not going to mess around today with jetpacks and the last one after that would be another right so from the ingredients here that you will see I, we need 47 now if I've got my calculation right that's 47 if two furnaces and 54 um, 54 redstone so that should then be able to upgrade this. So we'll do the same thing. So let's have a look at the recipe for the upgrade of this one. So look, the use of the diamond jetpack is just the emerald jetpack. So we need, again, we need 11 of these ultimate set, uh, coils. So let's click that into place here and just make sure we get 11. What am I missing? Can't do it on my crafting grid. That's right. Problem. Let's do that again. Um, let's go uses because I can't. Remember the rest. Well, actually, can remember the recipe off the top of my head. So we need 11 of those. So let's take away two of those. Same thing as usual. Get rid of these. So the next one along here, um, we'll do these. We'll make the capacitors next. So we need five of these, which is right. And then that should be all we need to make the whole of the thing up. So let's get on to the next one. So right, let's get the uses of the, this. So diamonds, emeralds, we've got jetpacks and capacitor. So we'll do the capacitor first. That's straightforward. That's six emeralds. Like that. Plus three capacitors, or energy cells in the middle. We'll give us the capacitor. Uh, the thrusters, I'm going to look it up again. It's actually not that complicated. It's just... Two of those, two of those, two of those. What? Try again. The furnaces at the bottom, and the energy cells in the middle. Is not that right? Not quite. I need some emeralds as well, and I forgot where I put the emeralds. Probably around the outsides. 
indeed. So we've got two of those. And in fact, I've actually got two. I am using too many emeralds. That's right. I've got eight extra, so I miscounted. So let's look at the uses of this. And that should be enough to put everything together again. So there we are. So I think I had 41 emeralds to start with, didn't I? So we'll take away that would be then 33 emeralds is what we needed to make this. So now the last one of those would be to make the netherite jetpack. Well, obviously that's a lot of netherite. I haven't got that far yet. So we're going to just simply put this one in the charging station here. And this is probably about 40 million. Let's have a look at the use, the power of 48 million. So it's going to take a very long time to charge up, but it'll last quite a long time. It does use a reasonable amount of power. And I think we don't drop down at all with the hover speed this time. Descent speed 0.45. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Normally with the Emerald one, you could simply just have cre um, creative flight. Almost identical to creative flight. And for the price of power. So next thing I've got here. Actually, one of the quests I'd like to do is this. It's a jet. It's for the glider. So I'll make the glider up. I'm going to make a light blue glider, because obviously I like light blue, so let's have a look at this one. This is yet another quest, and the one I want to make is this light blue glider. So we need two wings, so we need to craft that up, so we need, you see what we've got anyway, that was ten pieces of leather, uh, four string, and two wool. Uh, the other one is the opposite side, we'll just do that one. Like this. And the last bit to put everything together is... One, one iron ingot plus one light blue die plus the two wings will make a glider. And that is another quest. Or it used to be a quest. In fact, what they've done is they've actually improved the quest book considerably. So we've got a lot more quests. In fact, these are all being completed, as we remember from last time. We did all the import buses, export buses, storage buses. Oh, I didn't do a storage bus on camera. Ah, I'll show you why. Um, but just give me a second, I'll prepare it. So what I was wanting to do is to make some more crafting recipes. In fact, the ones I've done is I want let's just view the crafting recipes only. So the mate, the ones I've made, bef new ones I've made is some annihilation, annihilation cores uh, and a formation core. We did the copper plates and the mark one last time in the video, and these ones here I've made a cruceda. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that to be honest with you. And tofu, so we can make a tofu burger. Now the biggest problem with making a tofu burger. Let's have a look at. Let's try making one of these, or crafting one of these. You need a bucket of water. In fact, I've got two available. Now, what the problem is, how do I get a bucket of water into the system and automate that? And that's what we're going to have a look at now. The rest of it's fairly straightforward. We've, we've got a frying pan, a cooking pot, and they don't seem to matter about the durability of these things. It looks like it ignores that. So it'll craft quite happily, because you know, as you remember, when you use these, well, frying pan or a cooking pot it takes durability off it when you use it which is probably uh, might not really be true <laughs> you have a frying pan for about 20 years so there we are anyway so <laughs> that's what it is so here i've set up a pump on top of another pump with a solar generator on top of it and here's a tank so this tank will be full of water so what i wanted to do is i wanted to put on the sides here so on the input side which is the front face now it's always difficult to know which the front face is of course and then the output side is going to be the back face i wish you trap walk trap door i don't see jungle fence gate i'm not sure what that's telling oh sorry this is below what i'm looking at let's just put in a silly search in here uh i can't do that until i clear this off but that's the back face here and that's the front face so the as I said, it's difficult to know which is front is from what I'm looking at this. They all look the same to me. So you can easily tell by simply putting it in. So what I tried, first of all, is I tried using an ME interface here. So I've got an ME import and an export bus. We built those in a previous episode. So the import bus is the one that's going to take the output side. And what I was trying to do is I was putting this directly on this. Um, tank and I was expecting it to, to work but it doesn't you have to do it intermediately so let's just get the wrench out which is in my backpack oh I'd like to upgrade the backpack today as well because um, I use it a lot the wrong wrench <laughs> let's get the right wrench out which is not okay let's get all three of them out because it's always handy to have all three of the wrenches out here like this and that's the one I want 
let's break it on. So what we have to do is put a chest beside these like this. Okay, on one side and one and the one on the other side like that. And then we can connect up the, the, this cable link here. If, if you remember rightly, we had six channels. I think we should have six channels going out here. Six or eight channels. So we've just got two spare. So we can just do it. So what we need to do then is to put up here. Well, I think I did it slightly different than the one I thought about him. No, that's right. So you put this up here uh, and then you connect into these two. Like, like that. And then we can put this one. So this is the output side because the front side is the way I'm always facing the terminal side. So this one wants to be the export bus and the other one wants to be the import bus. So we put the export bus input button because this is where we're going to get a bucket of water out of but to leave it um but we'll put the we'll do the we'll do the other one the import bus the export bus first of all so we can actually see what's happening so we'll put that on there like that so that's going to export a filter out of here obviously we have to specify what we want to export otherwise it'll export everything so we just get a um a bucket out of here we should have some buckets in here course it's not craftable so I have to change this view and then I've got 12 buckets I want an empty bucket let me just get one empty bucket out of here they've all got water in because that, that's the way it was working I was testing what I was doing okay so this one wants to export into here buckets or empty buckets that's all it needs to do okay and then this chest here will take this side here as being the front side will import it pull it in on the out Oops, done that again. Push that. Oh, it just took it. It just took here. Oh, by the way, here is a three by three. This seems to work perfectly for water. It's collecting at each one of the diagonal points here. Let's try that again. So that's the bucket should come in here and gets pushed out. So we should see in this chest here a bucket of water. When we put an empty bucket into the system, it should just do it automatically without thinking about it. We should just push this into here like that. So it's went in and it's gone out and so we should have a bucket of water in here. Fantastic. So we always have buckets of water so that's I might have to do something else to make sure we don't get too many buckets of water but for the time being this will do fine. Like that. So this will now be this chest will now be empty. I don't have to specify that I want importing uh, anything out of that. We could, what we want because we can actually specify buckets of water the only thing that's going to come in here are buckets of water so that's fine so then we could actually craft up recipes which is great so for example if i would like to make some tofu burgers or which is a very good food as it happens then um, let's go back to craftable both of these are good foods this one's good for carbohydrates fruit and protein this one's good for carbohydrates vegetables protein and fats so the only thing that was really missing was uh, was um, that fruit from this particular recipe and this one's got fruit in it but it's also good for the others so at the moment my um, my my food levels are fairly good but i need some more fruit so what we need to do to do that we'll do the this one here we'll craft up let's craft up 10 of those uh, click the button here and that make up 10 and click next so it's needing five buckets of milk. Okay, I need to come get some buckets of milk. That I haven't automated yet. We have to, but it's not very often. It's not too much of a problem. I need to get some chest out, don't I? I think it's in the backpack. So I need to get this uh, shulker box out here. Let's have a look. And I've got some milk into this one. Trouble is, it might <laughs> fill these up with water afterwards. But that's just something I'm going to have to live with. We'll take six. We'll take six. It's easy enough to dispose of the water, so I don't really mind that much. Have I got? Just check my inventory. I've got space for six. Yes, I've got plenty of space. So the next thing is to find a way to get to milk cows automatically, but that's for later on. I think we'll we'll do that some other time. So I can quite happily put all of these into here like this. In fact, we'll keep one of those back. So we'll make, I said 10 didn't I from last time, so let's do 10. So we've got everything we need so we can start this craft and it'll start to make stuff. And you'll see everything appearing in here, as you can see. 
and then we're getting the items out. So we should have, of in a minute, uh, these Quistilla. I'm dreadful, <laughs> but somebody can help me pronounce it because I just can't do myself. So that was begin with. It. So we've actually got twenty already. Oh, because it makes ten crafts. No, I probably had some already in stock. So let's put into here. I've got some steak ta uh, tacos in there because I had very high saturation because I was busy doing some stuff, uh, fighting some mobs. I think. So let's put these emeralds back. I don't need these in here either. So let's put those in there. Emeralds are slightly, sl slightly low, but em diamonds are actually very high. And I've got plenty of diamonds. I've also brought some villages over from the village. Unfortunately, when I was doing this, I killed a village. <laughs> so, oh, I've got a new villager. Fantastic. Easy to get. You see here I've built a track and it's all the way around. I think this village has actually been a birthed one, so we it was a baby. And the only place it can get in and out of is here. Through this little hole. With a minecart they'll go through this. So let's have a look. I've got some minecarts over here. Uh, pick up a minecart and push him into there and then hopefully we get another um cleric. I'm looking for clerics because I want to get mending. As you may have noticed, my um armor's getting a bit damaged one of these will do fine what was in there i think something oh, just track i didn't sort that out after i put some more track in uh i went and found a stranglehold because the next thing i would like to do is to go to the um oh it's going to, they're going to sleep right i'll be back in a second when it's daytime right he's back to where he was so i'll just put him up see if i can get him in this minecart here if i can get him in the minecart then we have a good chance of him. Oh yes, maybe it does. Yep, good, fantastic. <laughs> and he actually pushed himself along enough, and I think he will just go straight in here. And he can't get out after he's got in here like that. Oh, and you can see he just he, he turns straight away to being a cleric. So I've been doing some trading with these guys. Let's have a look. It'll be, he'll be um. What's he giving me? Projectile projection for eleven emeralds, with a book. But nine emeralds and a. Bookshelf will give me, uh, sorry, nine will also give me a bookshelf. So I want to train him up. There should be two more, which are masters. So this one's given me a crop reaper, which I'm not sure what he does. Protection for, which is nice, and discounted at the moment because I'm doing a lot of trading with him. And he's getting a lot of paper for emeralds, which is good. And this one's doing also books for emeralds. I can do some books because I've got some for me with me already. Let's just do that. Um, and actually, in my backpack. I've got 29 books in there, but I've got plenty of book, books. So let's get him trained up a bit. Oh, well, this one's not. Come on here, I can't reach you. <laughs> can't reach him at the moment. Um, I should be able to. Tell you what, I can break the glass, no problem, just because it's there. Uh, and then we should be able to reach them. They can't get out of there, of course. So he was giving Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's do the one that's got the discount, which is this one here. Nope. This is the one giving me the discount. This one here, so we'll feed up as many books as we can and we'll get uh, as many emeralds as we can from him. Now he's not locked his trade up. I need to go and get some more books, right? I'll be back in a second with some more books. As you can see, I've got some more books. That's how many. He's now he's blocked his trade, so we've got 21 emeralds. That's not too bad at all. Um, I put there 30, it's not quite enough. Let's get the other guy. He'll do me some more trades for books, I think. No. Nope. This one. Reach him. So he's offering four. So I won't get as many as this now, but we can then start to do it. And that's what I've been doing. Um, basically, been, now he's giving me discounts on these ones here. So Vampire Slash and Curse of Enfeeblement. That's obviously not a very useful one. <laughs> so I'm not going to be buying this. He's also giving me Book and Quills. One of those will give me an emerald. And I've actually got quite a few of those because they're coming through from, I think, the recycling is producing books. Anyway, don't need to deal with that today. What we would like to do today is I shall go and put these back and we'll have a go and have a trip to the, the stronghold I found. Now the stronghold I found is very interesting. It's got it, five libraries, so it was enormous. And the actual room itself didn't have an entrance. I had to go and find it. So I'll be back in a second when I've got everything prepared. Right, 
everything's prepared so let's have a quick look this is um, the trunk loader I moved it to here because I wanted it to cover the farm and I've got the farm over here and I've basically put a whole load of uh, sugar cane there that's getting farmed and putting into here so I, I just collected it recently so that's why there's not really much in there at the moment um, to make paper to trade with the villagers because I want to get mending if you look at my arm at the moment it's a bit low <laughs> but not too bad actually let's have a look at this one this is a really good one this artifacts avoids creepers and if we want maybe with a bit of look we'll actually demonstrate that one so that goes on the feet so I can shift click that and shift click that in and it'll um, give me this creeper protection this one here has got the obsidian skull that's the one that protects you from lava and it works reasonably well i actually fell into lava the lucky scarf i've done oh and the jetpack let's do this because it's very easy to do it's just um look at the uses of this one it's got two uses uh, a withered a withering backpack uh, or an, a blazing pack pack well another storm we haven't got that far yet but salt sand wouldn't be too difficult to do um, the blazing backpack, let's have a look at these, there's got no uses. This one has, it's actually can make an endless backpack. Oh, but that's, uh, oh, but we need a withering. Can I not make a withering backpack from there? If we can't, then maybe I have to do that. I have got skulls, because while I was doing this, and they're really hard to get these days, I don't know whether they made them particularly hard to get or not, but I should have some skulls in here. See, I've got some more drops here. Uh, not wrong one, curse droplets. Uh, but I've got some skulls. Where did I put them? Maybe I put them in. I've forgotten which chest I put them in to be done honest with you. It won't be in here because that's full of wood and it won't be in gems. Uh, anyway, I've got three. So we'll do the wither at some stage. But first of all, I want to go and show you the um, this stronghold because it's a long way away, but it is enormous. Uh, the reason we're going to do this is because we have to do it. It's one of the things. We need to get to the end because there's some resources there um, that we need. So that was another one. Let's just go down here. Local, uh, some fortresses and stronghold here. So I'm actually right beside the stronghold here. Um, I'm fairly a long way. It should be here. And I've got a chest here where I put the uh, some more what's it like some more eyes of ender ready for the to fill in here because I've got all, all done except for one. So fighting the ender dragon shouldn't be too much of a problem, especially with our jetpack. It's really not too difficult. But here was one of the libraries, so you can see this is actually a two-story library. And if I look at the mini map, I think the mini map's the best place. Or maybe the map might do. No, the map doesn't tell you very much. Well, there's an interesting structure over here as well. I haven't seen that one. Um, so maybe we'll just go out and have a look at that. But there is another, there is another area that is very, very interesting as it happens. But let's put the mini-map on. I have to go through the mini-map. I think there's a shortcut key, but I've forgotten which one it is here. And then we can zoom in on this one. So you, as you can see, it's a very large... Um, I haven't put any torches down, but it's, so it's a very it's a very large uh, stronghold, and you can see there's I can't do it with here, but you can see there's two libraries, one right in front of me there. I've got one down here, one here, and I think this is a special room. This was down on the left hand bottom corner. It was a special room as well. So let's go and see if we can find this creeper. Might not be able to get this way, but we'll just see. Looks like it's somewhere else, and not in here. This looks like it's too well lit. Yeah, maybe I have to just break my way through here, because he's definitely always in that passageway down there. Um, tell you what, I'll go and find him, and I'll be back in a second. And there he is, and he's actually he was just here a second ago. Watch this, he's running away from me. <laughs> he just wants to go anywhere near me, so there he is. <laughs> It actually makes him quite hard to kill, so I can, with the, with the boots on, I just, just can't get him. Hey, oops, wrong one. Let's try, let's try the sword, it's better anyway. <laughs> like that. So there's, that's the kitty boots are doing that. In fact, there's a lot of these are actually really fairly interesting. So we've got five gunpowder, which from one, um, that's a lot, isn't it, from one creeper. 
we've got this thorn pendant. So if I put that on, I give I have thorns on my armor. This one here is a, is an invisibility. So you go invisible after you take damage. I'm not sure about that one to be honest with you. Night vision goggles. We've already the plastic drinking hat. This one decreases the time of drink. I'm not going to use it too much. This one here is actually a sat from Give Me Hat. It's a Santa hat. And this is also very interesting. I'll show you that in a second. Let's just get out of here um, and have a look at that building over the other side. In fact, let's use the, the waste. I haven't got it marked, but there is one I wanted to have a look at. So let's go and have a look at that one. I don't want to spend too much time doing this, but it's, it's very interesting. So I think, I'm not sure which one of these it is. I think I've got the word bunny. Yes, here we go. So we came out in a village. So I'll have a quick sleep. I'll see you in a second. And here's something interesting too. I've never seen one of these before. That's it. It's a golem obsidian golem. Uh, interesting. Very slow. And this is actually quite an interesting village. Well, that was strange. I got a crash. I actually went back home and got the jetpack so we can have a look. So we've got the emerald jetpack. Now, this is one of those... Um, another village, which is a single building village. Very interesting. Here we have a... Um, and yet another village. But it's another single village building. It's really unusual, this area. So you've got some stuff in it. I haven't been to get through these particularly well. And... Um, and here is a pillager station. <laughs> and it's actually quite a big one too, well, so it's got a few chests in here, which is another yet another village. This is really quite an interesting area. What have we got though? No, that's part of the pillager. And there is one more thing I'd like to show you. I think it's it's a bit more difficult to it's easy to find actually. Well I've just got to see where it is. Um let's look at the map. I think it's on the top. I think it's one of these three over here. Maybe it's this one straight up. Maybe it's this one here. We'll have a look. Maybe, or this one. I'm not sure which one it is. We'll have a look at both those two. Um, I have actually no idea what this is. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've oh, this is the, yes, this is the killer rabbit one. <laughs> You've got this white rabbit in here, and he's a, he's a killer rabbit. So we should be at, oh, at least I'm not dropping down at all, that's great. Of course we can get this. And he's very aggressive. Oh, Spanish. Oops. Probably it's easier not to, probably should have lit this area up a bit more. I want to get the rabbit. <laughs> but I haven't managed to kill a rabbit yet, but he's, he's very aggressive. My sp oh. Hold on a second, I'm not doing very well with this, am I? Put this down like that. I think I actually put this as a rabbit here. Oh, got him! Right, fantastic. <laughs> well, you saw me kill the rabbit. In fact, let's just light up this area a bit better so that stop mobs stop spawning everywhere. In fact, probably might be even easier to break the spawners it happens because actually we can pick up the spawners because one of the things I've discovered is we've got a mod a mod in here to pick up the spawners. All you have to do. Uh, is shift right click them like that and then you get the slowness so we can go and put this slip you don't see it it's not in my inventory but it is there so let's just put it down and go and get the others as well at the same time let's turn my jetpack off i'm going too fast like that and as you can see i've got slowness but <laughs> i'm getting shot at the same time all right get rid of him and go and get this next one. I'll put all this light these up. In fact, I'll do that and come back in a few seconds. Well, as you can see, I picked up those guys there. There's a skeleton somewhere back there, probably on the other side of the wall. Um, I don't want to spend too much time in here, but what I did get from that from the killer rabbit was ten emeralds, eight diamonds, uh, some rabbit, and some raw rabbit, and some iron ingots. I think that's all come from him. The rest has come from the the skeletons and the zombies. It was some reasonable reward actually. So let's get out of here. This must have been a bucket of water I put down on here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll, I'll see you back at base. Oh look, lots of coals. <laughs> Interesting. Detra. Um, fuel, maybe it's, maybe it's worth exploring this bit a little bit more. No, these aren't blocks of gold, are they? 
So something to collect. Anyway, I'll see you back at base. N not quite at base yet, but I just wanted to show you something else. I've got this Diggers Maximus installed in here, which for me is the Grav key. So if you come along here, for example, and hold down the Grav key, and then mine this up, it all mines all of those up, and it puts it straight into your inventory like that. So that's very handy. Um, anyway, that was that. I'll see you back in the base. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. You can see I've got my kitty slippers on. <laughs> they are funny, actually. Some of these things are great. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.